Hi guys, Cody Lopez here with Texelan News, and today we have a new video review, this time of the LG G5. This is LG's current flagship phone of 2016, so let's not waste any more time and get right into it. Alright, first things first, we have to unbox our new phone here. We'll give this a little pull, set it down here. Okay, so inside we have our Gold G5, a starter's guide, the new USB Type-C cable with the wall adapter and a small SIM ejector tool. With a quick look you can see some differences compared to previous LG smartphones. It has an all metal frame covered by a colored primer. Volume buttons are now located on the sides versus the back and above the power button are two cameras. All of this comes together for a decent yet familiar LG design language. Jumping into the performance, the G5 is powered by the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon A20 and 4GB of RAM. Now if that means nothing to you, just understand that this phone is fast. Crazy fast. Only a couple of phones have similar specs and they are among the best in the market right now. Everyday performance is a breeze, even graphic intense gaming isn't an issue. From there, LG continues to impress on the display side of things. The 5.3 inch quad HD screen provides a sharp image with strong brightness and colors. The viewing experience is very pleasing. Plus a welcome new addition is the always on display, a function that keeps most of the screen dark but leaves minimal info like date, time, and notifications available for those quick glances at your phone. This is off by default, but enable it and you'll appreciate just how handy this feature really is. On the back, just above that quick reading fingerprint scanner, are two cameras. That's right guys, two. We have a standard 16 megapixel lens and an 8 megapixel wide angle lens. The 16 megapixel lens takes some impressive photos, plus with a rapid autofocus, this means the LG G5 is an excellent point and shoot camera. Now having a built in wide angle lens wasn't a feature I thought that I needed, but being able to capture a lot more in a shot than I normally could without having to do either a panorama or stand really far away is a real joy. I found myself using the wide angle lens more than the standard at times. Sure it's a lower quality, but for some shots it's worth the trade off. Alright so the first gripe I have with the G5 has to be the battery. The G5 comes with a 2800 milliamp hour battery which is actually smaller than previous LG phones and its current competition. Battery life isn't too impressive, thankfully you can swap out the battery for a freshly charged one. However removing the battery is kind of a daunting task. After pressing a button at the base of the phone, you can separate the base with a battery attached from the G5. A great deal of force is then required to separate these two pieces, and doing so gives you the impression that you might break it. After a while, we just decided to leave the second battery on an accessory for the phone for easier swapping. After powering on the phone, we are greeted with LG's user interface, and this is where I am also not much of a fan. LG does away with the app drawer on the G5. After testing the phone without it for a few days, I'm glad to report LG has released a way to get the app drawer back. Simply go into the LG Smart World app and at the top is a banner to download this. Sure this may be a personal preference, but it makes you realize how much you may need such a basic feature of Android. The LG G5 is a massive change for the South Korean manufacturer. It does away with the usual plastic finishes of previous devices in favor of a full metal body. It seems the new design choice might have been stumbled upon as a solution to a problem. Well, being that all full metal phones are unibody designed, the problem is how does LG keep some of their most sought after features like removable battery and expandable memory when switching to an all metal design? Their solution Make the bottom chin portion of the phone detachable, allowing the battery to slide out with it. This not only keeps a fan favorite feature like removable battery, but allows LG to take it one step further and decide to make this bottom portion modular, a feature that has never been commercialized on a smartphone. The modular design is both good and bad in our opinion. It's good in theory, but bad in execution. The idea of being able to switch out a portion of your device in exchange for upgraded or enhanced features is great and kind of exciting. However, currently, the few modules that LG released with their flagship phone are either unavailable in the States or aren't too beneficial. The Cam Plus is an example of this. This module attaches to the G5 and provides a camera launch button, a capture and record button, plus a scrolling wheel to zoom in or out. 
but honestly, all of these functions can be done straight through the phone, and sometimes it was easier to do so. The Cam Plus does provide some extra grip and an additional 1200 milliamp hour battery, but does that justify the $70 price tag? Don't misunderstand, the G5 is actually a good smartphone, and we commend LG for looking to innovate a somewhat stagnant market. However, the execution of the module design comes off as rushed. For those who own the G5, know it's a unique smartphone with some great included features, and your future self may thank you, because if additional module options become available, the concept potential will come together and everyone will want to play with your phone. Then you will understand that life's good when you play a little more. All right, guys, well, that about does it for our LG G5 video review, but I'd like to know what you guys think. Do you like how LG stepped outside of the box, or do you think they should stick to what they know best? Be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tech infotainment, and follow our social media for excellent technology news daily. Once again, I'm Cody Lopez with Techcellent News, and I will see you all in the next video. Truth is... I am Iron Man.